training secret that dog trainers know. There's some sick, simple exercises that you can do just a couple times a day that will actually teach your puppy to listen. And they work as well as any formal puppy training exercises do. The best part is that all you need to use is your puppy's meals. Now, don't tell anybody I told you, but if somebody asks, just say it was Ken Steep and this puppy named Highlight. Welcome back to my Ken Dogs. Here in our training facility, we've helped more than 90,000 dog owners to overcome the same dog training challenges that you have. So if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that I can help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. Now we had an adorable house guest this past weekend, a 10-week-old border collie puppy named Highlight. And uh, she's actually an instructor's dog and we were looking after her for a couple of days. And something that I noticed very quickly was that there are a couple things that we do with puppies, whether they're ours or puppies or young dogs that into our home that we're looking after for a few days that would be really helpful for you because if you are training your puppy or your uh, you know, dog that's new to you to listen there's some simple things that you can do that take just a couple of minutes we actually did this entire exercise with one meal I'll post below like Kale was the feeder of the dog so I'll post the amount of food that we actually used below um, but these are the kinds of things that you can increase motivation for the dog you can really teach them that listening to you is valuable but you can also exercise their brain a little bit, teach them some skills, uh, teach them to associate certain words with really great things. You can also take advantage of a few natural training opportunities if you have a nuisance behavior. You're going to see that in the video as well. But I want to jump in and uh, show you when Kale grabbed the puppy the one time and was going to do some training, I grabbed a camera. And uh, let's take a look at uh, the things that we work on with these puppies in our home. Now this first exercise is to uh, teach the puppy that there's some value for their name. Now watch what happens here. So Kale waited until Highlight was just a little bit distracted. I'm going to pause it for a second. Okay, perfect. So what you see there is uh, Kale uh, allowed Highlight, she tossed the cookie away so that Highlight wasn't completely focused on her. Uh, once Highlight had eaten that little treat, uh, that little piece of kibble from the fo floor, Kale called her. Highlight turned, Kale backed away with a bubbly voice and rewarded her in close. Yes. Now you'll notice it's very apparent that Kale's got food and that's on purpose. Now, we have no expectation of this puppy. We don't want to test at this point. We really want uh, this puppy to be successful. You want your puppy to be successful at the beginning of their learning. So using food to your advantage is really helpful. Another really interesting thing that Kale did, that uh, kibble, I'll show you here, that kibble went quite uh, far away. But Kale knew that she just didn't know what sort of response she was going to get from Little Highlight. So she closed the distance she got really close to her so that when highlight did turn we'll see that here she was close enough to guide her back to right directly back to kale which is where she rewarded her now you may have noticed in the last training uh session that there was a pink bag on the floor that actually it was a highlights travel bag and she had uh, some treats and some toys and some stuff in there well, after we did this exercise with her, we gave her just a couple of moments of freedom and Highlight got really interested in that bag. And uh, you might have a puppy that's chewing on shoes. You might have a puppy that's getting into mischief. Whatever the thing is, I want you to watch how Kayla addresses that with her. So your puppy needs to have a house line on. It's in, redirects her, brings her away. Highlight's like, I don't know. I'm not leaving that thing. Now, Kale brings her over here. Now, something that's really important that I want you to really pay attention to. Now, Kale uh, redirected the dog, used a treat to guide her away. However, we don't want Highlight to feel like she's getting, uh, she's being redirected from whatever the nuisance behavior is onto a piece of food because she's going to quickly learn that I do this thing, you come in and uh, redirect me, I get fed. So what Kale does, which is really interesting, I didn't really, I wasn't paying attention to this when I was holding the camera, but what you see her do is she gets Highlight to offer something else. She redirects her, which is very clear, don't do this brings her over and then just lures a sit highlight offers a sit now she's had an, she has an opportunity to reward her in that position but you mustn't uh, uh, allow your dog to continue rehearsing these behaviors so using something like a house line in this case it's just a little piece of rope with a with a clip on it um, is really really important that gave kale the control she needed to guide highlight away with bump bump didn't really work she's still interested a little bump 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 a little more until she committed away then kale used the food had her offer something, some work, some effort, and then rewarded her for that. Now, she's an adorable uh, little puppy, isn't she? She's just the cutest little furball. 
Now this is an interesting exercise. It is totally food focused and that's on purpose, but we really want to teach uh, this puppy that it's uh, interesting to follow us, that they, the more they come near us, simply rewarding nearby us. And if they put in a little bit of work, that they're gonna be rewarded for that. It's such a simple exercise. You can do it with your puppy at any time of the day in any location you know, making sure that they're successful. But in here, it's a new environment. So Kale's, you know, lowering or raising the stakes a little bit. We need to go back to basics. We need to make sure that in this new place, we want this puppy to be just as successful. So let's start off making a really simple exercise using some voice, using some motion that's going to keep this puppy interested. Now, what is Kale not doing here? Think about that. What's happening here? What is Kale not doing? She's not calling Highlight's name because in this new environment, you can tell Highlight's just a little bit more distracted and she doesn't want it to be unsuccessful. So she's going to help Highlight by just using, uh, you know, sounds, using motion, using bubbly tone, saying pup, 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 you know, using these things, but not allowing the puppy to fail because, you know, you can see Highlight's just not as interested until Kale starts to move and until Kale starts to use her voice. But Kale's really setting this puppy up to be successful. Simple exercise burns off that puppy energy. I want you guys to be for sure doing this with your puppies at home. Something that you saw Kale doing at the very beginning uh, was some response to name stuff and highlights, you know, been with her new uh, owner for a week and a half. She's been with us for, you know, like uh, 10 minutes or whatever, maybe an hour um, at this time. And we want to load some value on her name so that every time she hears us say her name, something amazing is about to happen. And you can actually set your puppy up so that it really increases their motivation level once they hear their name. We do something called these uh, restrained recalls. So We'll sit at either end of a hallway or some enclosed space, maybe uh, in your situation. At the beginning, maybe you sit you know, facing a, a friend, a helper, family member, whoever, um, to, to restrain that puppy. But what we do make very clear to the puppy is that we have food uh, at the other end of the hallway. You can see I'm sitting down there with some treats. I'm actually shaking the treats at this point, really getting her excited about it. I'm using language that I know she's gonna find exciting. Um, so check this out. Now, one thing that uh, you need to keep in mind is that if you have like a handful of treats and you're restraining, like you're holding the puppy, um, getting them excited, get those treats out of your hand in your bait pouch or get them like someplace where the puppy doesn't have access to them because the last thing you want to do is try be trying to get this puppy excited about darting down to the other uh, end of your hallway or the, the open space when you call their name and then being focused on the food. So uh, that's a little, that's a little tip for you guys. Now, uh, we've introduced Highlight to this new environment. We've taught her to work a little bit for food. We've shown her that we have something valuable. Now it's time to like get a little bit more out of her, get uh, you know just a little bit more, to increase the challenge just a little bit. We're also gonna show her that it's really helpful or it's really um, rewarding to follow our hands because that's gonna be useful in the next few weeks of her training and you know next, uh, even throughout the first few weeks of her adult dog training when we're showing her how to get in position, how to walk at our side, we really want her to understand that yeah. if she follows direction and yeah. guidance, that it's going to be rewarding. The other really important thing yeah. is that we want to show her that when she gets into a position, so you're going to see three things. You're going to see a sit, a lie down, and a stand. And we want our dogs to understand without the words what that position means. So when the puppy gets into that sit position, you'll notice that Kale doesn't say sit. She guides her into that position and then she rewards her for that because we're really teaching her that uh, to, to naturally choose that sitting position so that a little bit further down in her training or further along in her training, we can start to say sit, then show her that food lure and get that position because she always, she already finds it valuable. Now, if you're looking for more structured puppy training, make sure you click that card right there. It's actually a puppy training schedule by age to guide you through your training process. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We publish new videos every week to help you to have a well-behaved four-legged family member. On that note, I'm Ken. Happy training.